Okay, uh, today I have something kind of fun for you. Uh, it's something a little different. Um, it's uh, just an overview of some silverware. I know, exciting, isn't it? But uh, the thing about this is that these are some samples we got uh, from Liberty uh, Tabletop. Uh, it's all uh, made in America silverware, which you see here, I'll show you the little flyer. That's their logo. And it is the only um, American manufacturer of uh, silverware. Um, and so it's something we've been kind of interested in. Um, and uh, well, now my uh, fiance, we are getting married uh, this fall. And so we thought one of the nice things for the registry would be a good um, set of silverware. And so trying to decide on patterns, uh, we kind of looked around online a bit and then uh, ordered these samples uh, from Liberty. And one of the things I noticed is not a lot of people kind of went over on other uh, videos and reviews and things, went over the different patterns and kind of showed it because there are some you know, differences in sizes and things we thought was kind of interesting. So anyway, I thought it'd be kind of cool just to go over the samples we received. Um, like I said, we bought these. They weren't given to us. Um, like I said, we have no affiliation with Liberty or anything else. I mean, something I'm just doing on my own. Um, so we got six different patterns here. Two of the patterns are the same, just with a different finish. Uh, and so this is the classic rim. Uh, this is the industrial rim. This is the pearl. Uh, this is prestige. Uh, this one is cedar crest, and then this one is Lexington. So let me show you these ones. I uh, see. So these are the same pattern, but this one's got like that nice gloss finish on there, like a mirror. And then the industrial is like a burnished. You can see it's not like uh, not glossy. And one of the things they did say is that these also are probably seconds uh, for the samples. So if you notice any minor like finish flaws or anything, it's because of that. It's not like these are brand you know new like the ones you get. These are like I said they said uh, seconds. But one of the like I said one of the things that's kind of interesting is you see like the pearl and it is a bit wider on the bottom. And on this one, it's really kind of tough to tell online. So you can see like there's a bit of a difference between there. And that's one of the things I thought was kind of interesting and why I thought like kind of showing you a few of the different styles would be kind of a good idea if you're interested in this stuff so you can kind of see like the sizing differences. And so like on these ones, these are all pretty much about the same. I said there is a, there's a, I mean, slight difference, but I'm sure it's probably just some variation just in how they are. Like this one's just a little bigger in the bottom. But yeah, and they're they're all about eight inches. Here, I'll show you on the tape measure here. So from the tip down, he like said it's about eight inches. And yeah, they're really nice. They're all um, eighteen ten. Here, I'll show you on here. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Yeah, there you go. So it's Cheryl Manufacturing, but the company is called Liberty Tabletop 1810, made in USA. And like I said, all their silverware is made in USA. And they also uh, have other products, uh, pots and pans and other things. I don't know if they make it or just distribute it, but all that's uh, made in USA as well. And here, I'll show you. If you're interested in this, this is a bit of their brochure. I thought it was kind of cool. So they talked about their production methods and how they uh, source all their steel from Pennsylvania and Tennessee. And they try and get all their compounds and things locally too. And it's just really kind of cool. So yeah, it's, uh, like I said, the ones we've kind of finished on, so are these. These are the two we like, the classic rim and the cedar crust. And these are some of the other, this is a Fiesta uh, set I had, which is nice, but all these little, uh, little color guys are starting to flake off on the other ones. So it's one of the reasons why we're looking at some of the new ones. And then these are some of the ones that she had. So these are all made in China. And so you can see like they're, oops, get that a little over a bit more. So, I mean, nothing wrong with that, but we're trying to, again, buy more things domestically. But as you can see, like I said, there's not a huge difference in size between them all. Um, on some of these, you can see like the thicknesses are a little, like obviously the, this one's a lot thicker than this one. A little heftier. And the thing I noticed too is like, for these ones, they're a little more refined, like the finishing, like the edges are nicely contoured. Um, there's no real burrs or rough spots or anything. It just seems to be a bit, you know, the finishing is better on them. And like, even like this one, it's not bad, but it's just, just a little rougher, like not quite the same feeling. So, 
anyway, uh, like I said, it's just uh, Liberty Tabletop. Uh, like I said, these are just uh, some samples we got. And uh, yeah, I just thought it'd be kind of interesting. I thought it'd be kind of cool to show some of the different styles and some of the different patterns they have. So you can kind of see them compare it all directly with one another versus just looking them online. Because again, it's kind of tough to kind of tell the difference between them. And like I said, these square ones are a little shorter, I'll show you, than like the round ones. It's not a huge difference, but they all do seem to be just a touch shorter than those ones. So yeah, so if again, if you're looking for anything, I would highly recommend checking out uh, Liberty. Like I said, you can get uh, three sample forks for $8 shipped. And then I'll show you like the sets we were looking at. Um, the classic rim, uh, if you want to get like a 24 piece set, it's 100, about 130. Uh, 45 pieces, 190. And they do have discounts and coupons and codes you can use. This one for the 45 piece set was 270. So, um, like I said, 190 and 270 for the same 45 piece sets in those. So you can see they even have some differences in pricing. Uh, some bit cheaper, some a little more expensive. But yeah, Liberty Tabletop. Like I said, check it out. I I think they're you know pretty cool, and it's and it's nice that we there is still you know one manufacturer of silverware left in uh, America. So that's it. Thanks. Bye.